very close, boy. Just headed into Poundland to grab some dusters because I really need to clean my computer. Don't want my GoPro, by the way. This, like, I just recorded this whole sequence on my GoPro. So, what does it sound like? What does it look like? I don't know. It's McDonald's time. <laughs> Can I just get a medium quarter pound of meal with a Fanta, please? Medium or large? Uh, medium, please. So, as it's paid out, I think it's time to buy some more car parts. Currently on the 1.8T tuning page, the website to go to if you guys got any questions or what you think is best for a remap for the 1.8T engines. They got all the basics of like just a stage one, then you got stage two, then you got different turbos and what you can do. So I'll just show you quick. So this is the page that I'm always going to. Uh, so the figures that I'm hoping to get is between 230 and 250, but the torque is capped at 300. It would be good if I actually showed you where I was looking. Otherwise, the insides blow pretty much. Uh, so I've got decat and downpipe, got the front mount intercooler. This is what I need to get, and also a fuel pump. The turbo inlet pipe I should go for is the one from SFS. However, that's 200 pounds, and I don't think I want to pay 200 pounds when I can get a Creation Motorsport one for under 100. Like I had, I had a guy messaging me on Instagram uh, telling me about the, uh, the Creation Motorsport one that he had. And apparently you have to like cut something out of the way or do something and it, it's just a pain in the ass. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to go downstairs and have a quick look and see if I can see what he was talking about. All right, so we're here, the engine bay, and I just had a quick look at like where this tip goes down. And I can't see. I mean, there's one coolant hose, but it's it's kind of hard to, to see like anything. But when I do, when I take this off and fit the new one, I'm just going to like take, take the intercooler off and disconnect everything take the catch can out of the way, get this off, just make sure there's like enough room for everything. Just enough room for me to actually get down there. All I can see, it goes, let's see if I can see it on camera a bit better. Wait, where does it even go? It just disappears. Oh, it goes down to there. Cat. So that coolant hose maybe. So this is what I need a custom made hose because it's still really restrictive there. So I need it to just be free flowing. Find out what the diameter of that is. I think if you get a custom one made. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that, mate? But my dodgy little fix is still doing good. Still looking good. So this is the fuel pump that I'm going to go for. It's the cheaper option because I don't think I'm going to be mapping my car above 300. Let's get that big boy. We just did another buy. This. Yes. It's now Friday. The next time you see me, my car should have aircon again. We're going to do the big reveal and if the car's ready, we'll see me being happy. Boom! New pump is in and cold air is coming out. If when it when it when it actually comes out, that smell of aircon. I haven't smelled it in so long. Oh but but that's cold lads. We finally got aircon again and I couldn't be happier. But I'm actually gonna turn it off because it uses power, doesn't it? So I know this vlog was a bit random, but that's literally all it was. It was just a vlog. But the car's working and uh I mean, obviously the car's working, the aircon's working. Uh, Monday, 6 o'clock, there will be the GTI Internationals video, which will yeah be out Monday at 6. If you're going on the Sunday, which is when I'm going to GTI Internationals, again, I'll be on the last stop stand. If you see me or my car, come say hi. And then, yeah, I'm going to go now, because apparently we're going to a car meet. So, yeah. Thanks so much, you guys, and I'll see you next time.